have a Mac Pro 1.1, which is a mid-2006 model, and subsequently the first Intel Mac Pro. This was, and still is, my primary video editing machine. Yes, it's old, but it's still one of the most powerful workhorse computers I have ever worked on. So I wanted to update it so I could handle modern video formats a little bit better. It originally came with four gigabytes of memory. The video card was an ATI Radeon X1900 XT with 512 megabytes of RAM. And most importantly, the CPUs were two Intel Xeon 2.66 gigahertz dual core processors. The first thing I did was to add more memory to the system. I went from four gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. Then I added a new video card. I decided to upgrade to the ATI Radeon HD5870 with one gigabyte of RAM. This was originally programmed for Windows and flashed with the Mac boot ROM so that it would be compatible with my Mac Pro. Because of this, you'll notice that during the video, there's no Apple logo splash screen during the startup. The final upgrade I made was to replace the original CPUs with two 3 gigahertz quad-core Intel Xeon CPUs. However, once I upgraded the CPUs, a whole other set of problems arose. You'll notice that now, in the About This Mac window, the processor reads 2 by 3 gigahertz unknown. The problem is that the firmware doesn't recognize this processor model, so I'll need to update the firmware from Mac Pro 1.1 to Mac Pro 2.1. In the next video, I'm going to walk you through how I did this.